These nuts high class be like. These testicles, haha, got you. <laughs> oh, you're playing Minecraft. I like your cut, G. I am master of the railway. I'm just a bunch of clattering teeth, mate. Don't know about you. Yeah. Up on board, sir. I'll get you to the sheds quicker than that old beetle. Belinda may be old, but she's reliable. Now, I don't like driving rude cars like you. But if I have to get to the sheds, I may as well take you. Let's go, sir. Vrum de vrum 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 vrum. Well, I'm playing the piano. And I'm sitting on a minecart for an Minecraft. <laughs> you said a Minecraft? <laughs> Grande? Big Big Chungus? <laughs> Go away, Redditor. <laughs> no! This mail fan is mine. And this triangular sign. That blue buffoon, the month of Juan, the mine, 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 bruh. Sir Gerald's bitch is mine. Twitter's tweets are mine. Your nan's bed sheets, the both of skeets, yeets, they're all in practically mine. Ow! It all belongs to me. <laughs> Everything that I see. North, South, Kanye West. I caress it, cause I bought it. The floor and ceiling are mine. Them bitches' booties are mine. You always knew it, that's all there is to it. It's mine, 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 mine. That's what I said. I literally bought everything. Ow! Meanwhile, at Lay should have dead. The, en the engines were laughing at Sixteen's antics. He had found Captain Stars deceased megaphone and he was shouting into it instead of giving it to the star tugs trust to destroy hey hey guys look at this i could be like captain star turn six i've got booty aid ha <laughs> <laughs> you silly cat do another one do another one all right then Ooh, Zoran, you bastard, lick my booty hole! Ah! That is so funny! Sixteen, do another! Top hat, where's your prop? I can't find it in the Star Tuck's trust! Where is Grapples? Bruh. Just then the homie Crunky turned up, he's like, WHAT THE FUCK 16 HELP! Just then Hillary Critton fell out of the sky. <laughs> Oof! Actually I forgot what I was going to do with Hillary Critton. Uh, Aiden said I needed to do something with him and I've now nah, forgot, so uh, sorry Hillary, you're going to sit back in the drawer. With trust the homophobe Diesel. I fucking hate gay people. I love football. Oh, I hate gay people. Oh, oh, you fucking queers. Oh, ah! Ah! Ouch! Just then, Ace turned up. He was like a. <laughs> Hello, engines. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning. Uh, good morning! Well, yeah, whatever. Oh, look at me, I'm so stingy. Oh, I'm so yellow. Oh, what am I, a fucking lemon? 16, turn off that microphone. No! I told you, 16, turn the bloody microphone off. Fine, fine. God damn it, what are you, unfunny? Yes. Sixteen, I need some. I I need you to take me to the Marigold Line. 
why do you need to go to the Marigold line? And why do you need to take me? Why not anybody else? Because Ryan has not made Barry Scott, Gordon, or anybody else in Trackmaster. Now come along, 16. Get the family coach. We gotta get down there. I gotta meet up with Sir Gerald. We're doing a funky diss track collab. Oh, fine. Get out of my way, Ace, you fucking bitch. Hey, you stupid little yellow race cars. Oh, no. Fucking, uh, door. Bonk. Sixteen coupled up to the coach, and off they went. All aboard for us, a stingy adventure. Da -da -da -da. Wait, wait, no! Come back, Sixteen! Come back! Come back, Sixteen! I'm not on the train! If that stupid controller is going to think, I'm going to stop right now, and he's wasting a lot of coal. But his driver did. He swung round the small cab and grabbed the brake and swung it o open. Off, open. I don't know. I don't fucking know how this train work. Sixteen went to a grinding halt as the coach banged into him. Shit! Psych, there is no coach. It's just large scale Barry. Hello. Uh, uh, uh. What did I tell you, you stupid Roblox bastard? I wasn't ready! Oof! <sighs> you should be very ashamed of yourself, Sixteen! When I say go, we go! I didn't say go, I said all aboard for a big adventure! And you ran off! You should have been in the coach, sir. Did I, ass? I wasn't ready. Now, are we going to do this properly this time? Or do I have to get another engine? Oh, you may as well get another engine. Well, I can't. There is no other engines. You should be very ashamed of yourself, Sixteen. Now back to the coach. Oh, fucking hell, I can't even walk. Oh, oh! My arm! So Sustainsy got on the coach and train left again. Fucking nutcase. I'll beat his ass up next time. Soon after a long while of travelling, they arrived at Marigold Station. So Stingy got off and met up with his homies. While that was happening, Sixteen decided to go off on a journey or something, I don't know. Oh hey, there's the lorries from the other episodes that didn't appear ever again. Sixteen puffed around the railway when he soon arrived at the bridge. There was a line of vans waiting. Oh, hello Sixteen. Hey Edwin, what's up? I've broken down. I see. Could you take these vans for me? I need some help. Up the track, I don't know. Yeah, alright, whatever. So 16 shunted Edward out of the way. Edwin crashed into Lord Farquaad. And 16 puffed away. Yay! He soon met up with Gareth, the big green diesel from the Marigold Railway. What are you doing on this line? Well, hello to you too, Gareth. How are you? Grumpy, as usual. I'm pulling the milk. I thought you liked that job. I do, but I can't climb the hill. You just mean the slope up to the bridge. Yeah, bloody pain in the ass. Also, this Lord Farquaad character keeps messing about my ass, and he's annoying. Well, I'll sort that out then. So Sixteen abandoned the train in the middle of the track, and he picked up Lord Farquaad and just fucking put, pulled that bitch out the way. Come on, Lord Farquaad, I'll take you to the fucking, uh, toilet. No, I don't want to go to the toilet, no. I am Lord Farquaad. Yes, I can't even couple them up because the cup is a crap. And Sixteen puffed away with Lord Farquaad. No, I don't want to go with you, Sixteen. Get out of here. No! 
Come on, Lord Farquaad, I'm taking you to Brazil, where you'll hurt no more people anymore. But trouble soon arose. The bridge up ahead was wobbly and quaking, and the floor had broken. Sixteen stopped on the middle of the bridge. Not that it's any of your business, but fuck you and fuck off. And leave me to my lotions. Oh, no! The floor just cracked. I believe I might try it. Well, damn it. The bridge has collapsed. And I've fallen. And I can't get up. Who cares about Lord Farquaad? He don't matter. Just then, Gus the truck turned up. Hey, Sixteen. What are you doing down the mine again? That was Thomas's accident, not mine. Go get help. Warn the other engines not to come down this line. Okay, we'll do. Gareth was still waiting in the yard when Gus turned up. Hello, Gareth. Sixteen told me it's fine to come down the line, so you can go now. Well, thank God, finally. What are you doing on the track? I'm going to shunt Sixteen's train away. Come on, move your trolls and trucks. Ow. And Gareth oiled away. Whoa, look at that green tanker go. He's going to fall off the bridge, I know it. Just as I thought. Gareth then saw Lord Farquaad's ass on the bridge. He was like, oh no, I can't stop. The troublesome faceless milk tankers banged and bumped their buffers together. Their newly built buffers I just put on them, wow. And they, Gareth crashed into Lord Farquaad. <laughs> Bang! Hey, Sixteen. Hi, Gareth. Can you get off of me, please? I'm not a sub. Or a dom, either. Sorry. The two controllers turned up on Edwin, the class 08. I'm very disappointed in you, Sixteen. I'm very disappointed in you, Gareth. You have caused confusion and delay. So you're going to get like the cranes or something, or we're just going to sit here? Come on, Sir John, let's go have tea and biscuits. I've had enough of these trains. Me too. I'm walking backwards. This is all your fault, Gareth. You too. Never come back to my railway again. I won't. <laughs>